Well, as you know, the United States had its Independence Day, which is July 4th, and I was up at my friend's house in Western PA, and he had a whole bunch of fireworks to light off. He invited a whole bunch of friends up there. We went up there. And on the 4th, around 12 o'clock, when it came time to set the fireworks up, we spent all day putting the cakes and the devices and getting everything fused up, all day out in the hot sun, moving stuff, you know, going over things back and forth, running around like crazy, trying to get everything set up in the heat, which was about 95 degrees, and it really beat me up. I mean, I think I had, I don't know, I'm, I was definitely not feeling good. So I went back to the house and took a shower and went back to the porch and grabbed the lemonade and just opened up my laptop to read some comments from YouTube. And one of those comments was one from the Move Transition plugin, and it really punched me in the face. It was like, oh my God, are you kidding me? I couldn't believe what I was reading. Here's what it said. Version 2.4.4 is detected by my PC as a Trojan virus. I wanna talk about this, I wanna get your opinion about it, because there's nothing being discussed in the forums about it, and it's got me freaked out, and I wanna talk about it right now. Let's get some. Electrify your online presence with live, live streaming. streaming. After returning back from vacation, the first thing I did was hop on my PC and download the move transition installer.exe file and scan it manually with my Sophos virus protection, which is a good program, by the way. And the results are make, made me feel a little bit better, I guess, because it said that the file is free of any funky viruses or any kind of Trojans, thank goodness. That sort of made me feel good, but then I decided to scan the file with a online scanner called VirusTotal. Now, what makes VirusTotal so cool is that it takes the file and scans it with multiple free online virus engines. So if you click choose file here and select the exe file, where is it? Here it is, hit open. It comes up with four engines that found different types of funky Trojans and viruses, I guess. One is McAfee, and I don't know how good McAfee is. I always thought McAfee was kind of a crappy virus protection program. Didn't like how it was so, so difficult to remove it from your computer. Another one was this Secure Age Apex. Says it's malicious. I mean, it's kind of a, kind of fuzzy what, what they say the problem is. Then we have BK. BCAV Pro, it says there's a Win32 AI Detect malware issue, and then there's this one called Sang4 Engine Zero. I, you know, other than the McAfee scanner, I've not heard of any of these other engines, so I don't know if they're valid or not. But the VirusTotal website scanned with 68 different engines, and only four came up with an issue. So I don't know, that in conjunction with there being no communication in the forums about any kind of virus or Trojan makes me think that maybe these are false positives. So my question to you is, do you think that this is an actual problem? Why is it that no one's talking about this in the forums? And um, why do you think that these uh, virus engines are coming up with detection when potentially other scanners are saying that it's not a problem. And so why would that occur? So I'm always very appreciative of your comments. They are always filled with such great knowledge and they're really great. So I wanted to reach out to the community and ask you guys what you think about this and whether it's an issue. And if it is an issue, uh, how do you think we should go about fixing it? So let me know in comments. I will see you over there. Best wishes, stay strong and keep fighting.